The December 17th matchup of the Grizzlies and the Thunder was entertaining, to say the least. In just 90 seconds, John Morant was kicked off the court, and all of us were left confused about what happened. Did the referee make a bad call, or was Morant acting up again? Well, the NBA finally gave their side of the story, so keep watching this video as we break down what exactly happened. First up, what does the report say? John Morant's legendary dismissal left everyone scratching their heads. Fans were constantly tweeting, asking for explanations, and thankfully, the NBA finally decided to set the record straight. In the second quarter of the Memphis Grizzlies match against the Oklahoma City Thunder, the referee decided to show the team's star player, John Morant, the way to the door. The 23-year-old was shocked by the decision, and his teammates objected, claiming that he'd only been talking to a fan in the crowd, not the official. In a post-game report, NBA official John Goble finally gave us some context about what led to Morant's ejection. The player was frustrated when he thought a foul had not been called, when he was trying to receive a pass. It's here that he got his first tech for using obscenity directed at an official. Now, as for the second technical, Goble claimed that it was given because Morant made a comment which challenged the integrity of the NBA authorities present, and it's here that the referee decided he had to leave the court. He assured fans that he doesn't have anything against the player interacting with his fan base. It's just what Morant said that caused the quick expulsion. Dylan Brooks also received a technical foul soon after Morant was dismissed, so clearly the Grizzlies were having a bad day. Moving on, what was Morant's reaction afterward? John Morant has a pretty devoted fan base, and the fan he was talking to, Miss Lisa, gave her side of the story by saying she was just trying to hype him up. It seemed like the pressure was getting to him when his team was down 20 points, and that's when she tried to motivate him by saying, let's go. Ja replied to her, saying that there was very little he could do since it was the officials who had missed a call, and it's here that the referee gave him the second technical foul. So it seemed very likely that this is the conversation that got the officials worked up. Now, you may think that it was the fans' fault for starting this up in the first first place. But Morant made it clear that he didn't hold them responsible for the foul. He FaceTimed his father, T. Morant, who was present at the game, to talk to him. We got to see this special moment on social media as T. carried his phone over to the fan after Morant was escorted back to the locker room so the two could speak. When Taylor Jenkins, the head coach of the Grizzlies, was asked to comment on the explanation for the technical foul after the game, he decided to keep things civil. He said he'd prefer to keep his opinions to himself and only congratulated the Thunder for playing the way they did, rather than blame the officials, he took responsibility by saying they just didn't hit enough shots, which is a classy way to handle a situation like this. Up next, Morant's been acting up. Of course, this wasn't the first time Morant has pulled something like this. Just a few weeks ago on November 30th, he got ejected again in a match against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Morant was arguing with a referee, which got him tossed automatically without even receiving a tech before. He was fined $35,000 by the league for inappropriate language toward the referee and not leaving the court fast enough after the decision had been made. Before leaving the court, Morant went and dapped up many of his Memphis teammates, as well as the T-Wolf star Anthony Edwards, who was going for technical free throws. But with the way he was grinning, laughing, and clapping as he walked off, we weren't the only ones surprised by the decision. He was too. Of course, Morant is someone who likes to have the last say in things, and he took to Instagram to share his opinion. The point guard said that the referees in the NBA have too much power, which is left unchecked, and that players can get dismissed nowadays for telling a referee the same thing they're telling you. He was pretty angry because of what happened and thought that the expulsion was unjustified. And we can't help but wonder what exactly he said since the official thought it was enough to remove him from the match. These technicals can bring Morant's total up to seven on the season, which is fourth most in the league, right behind Brooks who now has eight. Not the record you would hope a player was aiming for in a season. Finally, the Grizzlies clash with the Nuggets. On December 20th, John Morant went head to head with Nikola Jokic as the Memphis Grizzlies and Denver Nuggets battled it out for the the top spot on the Western Conference leaderboard. Thankfully, Morant was able to finish the game without swearing out any of the officials, and we were lucky enough to see the playing styles of the two stars. John Morant's dribbling was insanely quick throughout as he tried to apply constant pressure to Denver's defense. On the other hand, Nikola Jokic was very careful with his approach. He's patiently waiting for his teammates to find openings before executing precisely. Unfortunately, Morant's skills weren't enough as the Grizzlies lost to the Nuggets with a score of 105-91. to at Ball Arena, and fans think their slow start is the reason for the disappointing result since they weren't able to recover the points they lost in time. Morant had 35 points and 10 assists in leading the Grizzlies, but it still wasn't enough. The Grizzlies have dropped their previous two games after seven straight victories, which means they've dropped
drop to second place in the Western Conference as Denver rises to the top. Moving on, let's look at what John Morant said about Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Firstly, the Morant-Durant bromance. In the December 18th game against the Detroit Pistons, the Brooklyn Nets were down by a hard 19 points before the Durant-Irving duo turned things around for the team. The outstanding efforts of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving allowed them to take the lead and they never let it go to the end. The Pistons are a feisty young squad that has caused trouble for many teams this season. But can we say just how satisfying it was to watch them get defeated by the Nets in Detroit because of their dominance? We couldn't stop gushing over their performance, and it seems like we weren't the only ones who were hyped up. John Morant tweeted about the match as Durant and Irving continued their overwhelming performance. We genuinely think Morant is a basketball fan who happens to play the game professionally, with how closely he follows every game in the NBA. And this time he took to Twitter to say he has a lot of respect and admiration for Durant and Irving. Morant, a walking highlight reel himself, often gets praise from Durant and was giving back some of the love through his tweets. We're living for these bromance moments. Coming up, the iconic duo. Together, KD and Kyrie contributed 81 of the Nets 124 points in the victory, showing their complete domination on the court. Durant scored 43 points on 14 of 22 shooting, including 3 of 5 from outside the arc, and Irving scored 38 points on 13 of 23 shooting and 5 of 10 from beyond the arc. The two superstars proved to be too much for the Pistons, despite their good performance. When Durant was asked about his opinions during the post-game news conference, he laughed and said he wasn't sure how many points he had scored after his 26-point third quarter. After scoring 43 in the game, the net star climbed to 16th place in league scoring history. On the other hand, Irving isn't doing too bad either. With his 38 points in the 124-121 victory on the road, he helped Brooklyn finish the last 16 games with a 13-3 record. Irving himself was even surprised to see the synergy. He mentioned that offensively the team's clicking on all cylinders, and the guys aren't shooting jumpers but doing all the small things, so it feels amazing. The team is in high spirits, and they're learning more about one another than ever before. It's been a while since we've seen a duo that works as well as these two do, and we couldn't be more excited to see what they'll do next. And lastly, the Nets have their work cut out for them. The Brooklyn Nets are getting close to being serious contenders for the first time this season, thanks to a recent winning streak. The Nets have the best record in the league of 13-3 over their last 16 games. After a 2-7 start, they seem like a re-energized squad after the last few matches, but fans think it's also because of the easy schedule they've had so far. Just four of their 13 victories came against clubs with winning records. Two of those games were ones in which Damian Lillard, John Morant, and Desmond Bain weren't even playing for their teams. Their next schedule won't be as easy though. This is because they have to go up against the Golden State Warriors, Milwaukee Bucks, and Cleveland Cavaliers. To give you a quick refresher, the Bucks and the Cavaliers are the NBA's top two teams by record. As for the Warriors, they still have a great team that recently won a championship. While head coach Jacques Vaughn has confirmed that his squad will stick with their current strategies, he recognizes that he may need to change things up since they need to beat the league's finest. The Durant-Irving duo is doing wonders for the Nets, and over their last 15 games, Brooklyn has a third-place offensive rating and a 12th-place defensive rating. The addition of Vaughn after Steve Nash's departure has also turned things around for the team. The new head coach tends to pay more attention to detail. With that said, we'd suggest keeping an eye on the Nets since you never know what they could pull off. And with all that, that's a wrap for this video. Do you believe the referee's reason for kicking Moran out? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.